what is the true essence of black girl magic? Each week, I sit down for a deep and meaningful conversation with some of Africa's most inspiring women and hear their stories of love, loss, and second chances. My name is Dawn Faith. Join me on this journey of discovery. I remember vividly at 8 p.m. every night from Monday to Friday, a family gathering around the TV waiting for Queen Morocco to bedazzle our screens. So it blows my mind that today, on Deep and Meaningful, I get to sit down with the woman who, for almost 20 years, had us all laughing, crying and rolling our eyes. The real Sophie Ndaba, however, is worlds apart from the fictional character she portrayed for so many years. She is a strong, intelligent, wise and God-fearing woman who has overcome a range of challenges in her life. This is my deep and meaningful conversation with Sophie Ndaba. When did you realize you were a woman? Like at what phase, at what stage, at what age? And um, what does being a woman mean to you? I think I realized that I am that woman that I wanted to be after my experiences, my life experiences. Okay. Because I just believe that we are all women by birth, but when you realize you are the woman God you wanted want you to be, I like that. the woman fulfilling the purpose, or on her way to fulfilling the purpose God set her out to, to do, is post experiences, good or bad. And that's when I realized, Uguti, now I believe I am that woman that I can have conversations with God and He can say, so again, I'm done, I'm so right, but it. you are yeah, almost you there, you are there, it. you figured it out, you know, and I'm in that good space where I feel I am that woman. That's unique, no one, no one said that, oh, and, really? and how old, if I may ask, or what phase had you gotten to that phase, how long, or rather the question should be, how long did it take you to I, get to I that I had place? to be 30 years plus wow. to get there. Wow. Um, because I don't believe any woman can say she's ready for anything to do with life's challenges unless she's experienced the storm, yeah. experienced everything that women go through, yeah. whether it's the challenges of being a mother, a friend, yeah. business, anything, yeah. you know, the career, just generally. For yeah. me, it was just, I had to go through everything in order for me to say, I am that woman now, I'm stronger, I'm better, yeah. and I'm able to deal with things better, and I can see them coming before they get there. Not always, but most of the time. That's profound. I like that answer, Sophie. Ngoba, I think it's very, it's very different to one, my own understanding and my own perception. For the most part, most women that I've spoken to, you know, they'll share Uti when they had the responsibility of um, becoming a mom, and holding a child, then that was, you know, the recognition um, that they were women. And not to, you know, to discount what they're saying. For me personally, there was always a thing, I would know, I wanted to realize for myself that I can be woman, even outside of those experiences, because surely yeah. the totality of who I am is not only from then having to be responsible for, some, for someone else. And so what I love most about what you're saying is actually the collection of different, a holistic, yeah, and a when holistic you, and, thought. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. I love that part of it then is when you can have foresight, which then I suppose comes then with the wisdom yeah. that you are grown and you are mature, that there's this ability to even to see deal, things. To deal. Do you know what I mean? To deal differently and more effectively. And there's no perfection that surrounds that. I think nothing comes with perfection. It's more... It's more just lessons learned, and you're stronger, you're better. Yeah. And I think more than anything, stronger. Yeah. Because I think as women, we are responsible for so much. Yeah. And the fact that we become stronger throughout that journey of whatever it may be, we then come with the wisdom. And sometimes we don't even know that we already carry that wisdom. Yeah. And only until somebody says, what do you think about this? And then suddenly mm. you start speaking out and you even surprise yourself yes. and you're like, oh, was that me? <laughs> wow. Well okay. done. <laughs> well done. And you pat yourself on the back. Wow. You know, and I think one, when I started getting to that space and more comfortable and fear was no longer the highlight for me. I wow. used to struggle with panic attacks and panic wow. attacks disappeared. I mean, they sometimes, you know, Great kind of knock bit. on my door and say, I'm yeah. here, I'm standing by. And then yeah. I say, 
breathe in, no waves, you're not coming yeah. in. And, and yeah. it just comes with wisdom and understanding wow. which you can fight whatever and become a better you. Wow. And that's becoming the woman. I like that. Yeah. That's, that's like, man, I like that. Yeah. What do you think is the lesson that's taken you the longest to learn? And if, if you have any perception or understanding of why that would have been the case? The lesson is you can't please everybody. And I think I lived many years because I'm in hospitality. I am, my business is serving people. Yeah. My life is to serve, yeah. right? And I think because also I'm a God-fearing woman, you know, serving this business and serving in, in the Christian world and yeah. serving in business is two different kind of levels. And sometimes you get lost in it because you want to give so much, yet in reality you can't really give too much of yourself. So just learning yeah. that you can't please everybody was one of the biggest. Wow. Yeah. I feel like there's so much I'm going to learn from <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, because right now that's actually my thing. Like, I know in my head, and I don't know what it is about me that wants approval. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And so sometimes for me, one of my biggest lessons is having my heart and my brain meet and collide and find a peace and, and a space where yeah. it's not just information that you yeah. have yeah. anymore, but it's actually something um, that you practice. And, you know, and I think when I reflect back on how much things have cost me. Yes. Yes, the price. The price of being fear. a people pleaser. Yeah, the price of fear of not being able to please people effectively. I think that price is so huge because the minute you get to the realization that you can't please everybody and you're not perfect and it's okay. It's freedom. To make an yeah. error. It's just that, that sense of freedom. And it's, you know, it's like almost a weight has been lifted off your shoulders because yes. there you are saying, I have to be perfect. What do yes. people think? What do people yes. say? Oh my yeah. gosh, you know? Yeah. And, and everybody expects me to be perfect. And, yeah. and in the industry that I'm in, it's hospitality, events, oh, television, yeah. it's competition all, all the, the way. And I knew that competition is healthy. It's the healthiest yeah. thing ever. It actually takes you to another level. Yeah. But because you are creating your own personal brand okay. in everything that you do, you still want to stand out, irrespective. Okay. And I think just learning to realize that you can't please everybody 100%, yeah. but you must always strive to be the best, the best you can. Yeah. Do you think that that pressure is, is internalized because that's, like we've created our own, our own world that make us, like specifically with women, that cause us to always want to portray ourselves as being perfect, um, that cause us to always want to seem like we always have it together? Because it's not as if there are women out there who, I suppose, who are freely willing to say that actually I don't always have it together, but I find joy in, in being able to accept that about myself. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was sharing with my uh, production team the other day, my event and production team, and I said, you know, you need to begin to understand how I operate and understand that this is the vision that I have. Mm. And that if you don't walk with me in this journey of understanding the vision that I have, mm. you are going to sabotage every single thing yeah. that I have designed wow. and planned to be a success. Yeah. And I have to start being selfish to saying, if you are not walk, walking with this vision that yeah. I have and dream, yeah. me and my big heart has to step aside and I need to delete Wow. Yeah? And it's, because yeah. you become then selfish enough to say, this is a dream and aspiration and, and the vision that I have. Yeah. And I need to do everything to protect it no matter how hard. Because I'm a softy at heart and I'm a giving and, and I'm a this and I'm a yeah. that and I cry about everything. Yeah. And it's like I have to begin to now create the hard me that was never there. And okay. it has to come into play because I have no choice. It's either that or I lose everything. Okay. So that's Story also of part life. of being a woman. That's yeah. part of being that woman that being becomes now yeah. going to the next level. Okay. Who are you as this woman? In your, okay. at, at which level are you and yeah. which level do you aspire to? Yeah. Are you on your way there or are you still here or are you going down? Yeah. And I had to relook at that and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Okay. I'm realigning. I'm like wow. changing the gears and yeah. saying, huh, fifth gear is it too fast? Fourth gear yeah, is it too fast? Yeah. Should I be on neutral? But I need to still move even though I'm on neutral. So I need to get off that neutral space and say I need to go further. Wow, I like that. How do you make other people see what you see? Even if they're good at what they do. But yeah. remember, if they come into your 
vision. Yeah. You're trained and they they're going on this train with you. Yeah. Are they understanding the mechanics of this train the way that you do and where it's headed yeah. to? And the fact you would say if we don't oil it properly. Huh? Yeah. If we don't oil it properly, it's not gonna move. Aligning. I'm like wow. changing the gears and yeah. saying, huh, fifth gear is it too fast? Fourth gear yeah, is it too left, fast? Yeah. Should I be on neutral? But I need to still move even though wow. I'm on neutral. So I need to get off that neutral space and say, I need to go further. Wow, I like that. It's hard, but no? it's hard because you're expecting as a businesswoman for other women and males that work under you to see what you see. How do you? How do you make other people see what you see, even if they're good at what they do? But yeah. remember, if they come into your vision, yeah. your train, and they're going on this train with you, yeah. are they understanding the mechanics of this train the way that you do, and where it's headed to? Yeah. And the fact you would say, if we don't oil it properly, huh? yeah. if we don't oil it properly, it's not going to move. Mm. You know, some people think petrol is the only thing, and yet there's yeah. so many elements Everything. that yeah. come with Absolutely. moving this, this machine Absolutely. It's, it's oiling it and not over oiling it at the same time it's checking if it's serviced <laughs> how do you reservice the business that we're in no but you are preaching right now right yeah <laughs> <laughs> no man like not over oiling it yeah yeah not over oiling it because we tend to think oh no but the more i put no, no, then no, no, no. Yeah, the return less is more but you see you need to take time to understand what is it that you're oiling? And what how kind much of oil, oil should you be using? And what kind of oil are you using? Are you using a sports car oil or are you using a regular car oil on you're a sports car oil? You're putting instead of petrol. And what, 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 what happens going? to the car? Why is it not going? It sure. stops and you have to uh, uh, drain, drain it. it. out, ne? Drain it. And now whilst you're draining it, you're wasting time because Yo. the train is moving. It's supposed to be moving in destination time. You're going to miss that ETA. <laughs> wow. So for me... There is no time to waste, and I've realized that I oh. need to delete, delete, delete. It, it, I did that with friends that I didn't want around me, yeah. and never spoke to them in years. Yeah. And the ones that I knew, which I know I cannot live without, and yeah. I kept them, and they've kept me too, and we are yeah. all busy, but it's just that thing of making decisions where you become very unpopular. Wow. But um, I'm a child of God, and I believe that I have a purpose to fulfill. Right. And if I do not become hard within this purpose, I'm yeah, going to lose you everything. you lose everything, yeah? And I think that's the trick for most women. Yeah. Like, with the, the crux of the matter, and it includes me at times. I think I get it right sometimes, but in other times, that's the hard bit, knowing yeah. that are you willing yes. to risk what God has called you to do for the sake of being liked? Are you willing, you know, for the sake of keeping that one happy? Are you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah, it, bec- yeah. and it becomes really hard to explain yourself. And I think one of the lessons for me that I learned the most was that no is a complete sentence. And so being able to be brave enough. Do you know, for me, I was like, no, but I can't. But but okay, but, maybe but, but, but there's a no, but. But, uh, uh, but there's a no, but. Like, Why do you to like me after Why I say no? You see, because it shouldn't be a but. Mm. And I was that person. I would do everything to please everybody, and I forgot all about me until I went into depression, mm. until I started getting Too panic attacks, yeah. until I started fainting, until I started yeah. ending up in hospital and not understanding that it wasn't a heart attack, it was in fact a panic attack. And yeah. I'm like, oh, oh okay. Is that this too- <laughs> <laughs> no one told me. We only see this in the movies, and you I've, I've I mean? been the movie. Yeah. You know, and to fulfill my purpose, you, you believe. Uh, if I bring people who are more godly like next to me, mm. I become a better maker. And in fact, I forget that these are humans yeah. and they make errors Absolutely. and I want perfection from them, you know. Absolutely. And it's just been a nightmare, but a good one and a learning that journey where I really wouldn't stop it for anything. Yeah, mm. there are times where I want to start over and I yeah. say, hey God, can I just sleep and wake up and then you just, just give have me a over. 20 more years to start back yeah. from and then I can do this better, yeah. I promise. Do you think part of the essence of life is that because one, there is no manual outside of you having an authentic relationship with God, that actually short of you having lived and learned through everything, there isn't any other way. Because I sometimes think, would conversations help with, with genuine and authentic conversation and people can share about their different journeys, would that realistically ever help someone else in how they go 
or do we think yes but they still have to then live and put things into practice they would have to live it it's like practicals you don't really get out of it i never went to university but those who did go to university will tell you about practicals and i said well my practicals were making it happen now. yeah yeah with or without the tools i was like yeah. i gotta make it happen i'll yeah, make figure it up it out. right away yeah and and i have so much respect for those who had the opportunity to just take it to a higher level and learn it differently because they come with their own wisdom but mm. for me it's like uh, everything for me that I do now, my business, everything is self-taught. And okay. I'm quite grateful for that because I think it has taught me everything the hard way. And I've yeah. become a soldier of my own life. Through it. And mm. I have my own nightmares. You know when a soldier comes from war mm. and he sees something that triggers whatever that could have mm. done. And he's like, <laughs> forget a bomb. Yes, so well, I, kind, I kind of feel like a bomb coming in my way. And I'm like, forget a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> like funny. like if I yeah. start dating somebody yeah. new and I and I see the, I'm a tendency hey, coming like, and I'm like ah, bomb. you like <laughs> <laughs> you got all matrix on it and I say different yeah. I say different movie same movie different cast yes yeah. and I'm like mm. oh my gosh so, yeah I've seen you know, that story so, before so, yeah. so I've really learned this womanhood thing has really taught me to just relax and just say you know what God I'm not giving it to you because that's what yeah. I was supposed to do in the first, first place. place. You know, good. just give it over and say, I surrender all to you. Yeah, because I'm done, yeah. I don't know what's what good I'm for doing. me. That's and I thought I knew what's good for that's me. Amazing. And I, I thought I was in control of everything that's good for me. Yeah. And now I know that even if I make a mistake, you're a God of so restoration. You've restored, you restored me before. You're the same you God do it again. restore me yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. You know, the other day I was watching the story of Ruth. Actually, yeah. not the other day, last night. Yeah. I was working on my laptop and I watched the story of Ruth. And as Ruth's husband died and she was with her mother-in-law yeah. and she says, my, my, my family will be with your you, family, yeah. your well, people, go. my people. Yeah. And, and when Boaz mm-hmm. uh, 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 started giving her mother-in-law, I'm like, give a bitch. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> and I thought, yeah, let's have a Yeah, I thought, yeah, let's have a bitch. Yeah, I thought, yeah, It's not a yeah. new thing, yeah. you know? And, I, and everybody in the community was complaining yeah. and saying, we are going to report you yes. because you are busy bettering to this family. Yes. Who are they? But yes. the man, the man is a foreigner. Yes. You know, she's not a kid of our town. Yes. And there I was thinking, okay, God, what am I finding in this? And I'm yes. thinking, oh, God. And sometimes we are so afraid to try something new. You, yes. Sometimes we are so, Upo West did not listen to and did not become fearful of what people were thinking yeah. and how they were judging over to we for an And while I'm choosing a man, you know when you're called by God and you're supposed to be unique and you're supposed That's to it. be there. Yeah. Nothing can stop that. And I realized Uguti, let me look back. How yeah. how do I define my uniqueness as a woman? I love that. And then I realized Uguti, I always stand out in whichever way. Yeah. You know, whether you've written a headline about me, I'm restored. Yeah. Yeah. Whether uh, you heard yeah. me yesterday, I'm but restored. Yeah. And then it. I think, okay, so this is just the beginning because, yeah. especially because now the freedom of understanding where I am is that freedom that allows me to now move to that, even that further, level. Even further. That level that I've been looking and yeah. not understanding how to get there. Yeah. And I'm not... You know, Rome was not built in one day, and I no. don't even know how I'm going to yeah. get to my purpose 100%, but, but I think I'm well yeah, on, you're my on the way. way. That's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. I love that too, because I think the thing, mm-hmm. when you were talking about the root story, one of the things that resonated with me is how much we undervalue who we are and yeah. what we have. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. I, I used to say, it's funny now that after I'm about to turn 36 in a couple of months, and I'm saying, it's funny now, all my life, people have always said, you know, we are papa, you talk a lot, and why you always got to be the life of the party? Isn't there a... Yeah, 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 you yeah. know, Tony must be in that yeah, space. Yeah. And it is such a, a, a God thing for me to now be making money out of local Klepuga, no no kulu magakulu, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. It's, yeah, and it's just crazy yeah. when you don't see the things in yourself and you listen too much to what external people have to say you forget that it's those very things actually that God has placed in you um, that are linked to your purpose. I think we're preaching but I don't care because that's who I am. No, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> because I think there are women who listen to us and they say, I see myself in that. Ooh, oh my gosh, I didn't think. And what they're, they're talking like me and I think, Ooh, absolutely. And, and you know, when I look at what you've just said, Uguti, people say you talk too much mm. and they say, and I just think, Uguti, we are called. The Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. There you go. Uh, Abeningi are called to, 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 to become a success, but it's only a few that are chosen 
to deliver mm -hmm. and they deliver and you see it yeah. and it's only those who have the wounds to prove it yeah one now i just believe i always say to women who would say if you have not felt the pain yes if, if you, you have not, not gone to that cross That's it. if you've not been crucified for a thing or two i'm speaking so. to you people saying to you yeah. Papa, yeah. that's been crucified yeah. for who you are yeah. and then you take that crucifixion crucifix crucifix and you yeah. turn it around and that's say it. i'll show them yeah when i look at where i've been yeah. and i look at how many people have kind of tried and maybe yeah. some of them succeeded in crucifying me yeah. judging me and judging my progress and saying oh shame oh shame that you know i just look at where i am now and i think i'm blessed coming in coming out thank you nobody can touch me and yes. they've never been able to touch me thank but i you. thought they could yeah that's the problem The Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. There you go. Other uh, things are called to, 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 to become a success, but it's only a few that are chosen to deliver, mm -hmm. and they deliver, and you see it. Yeah. And it's only those who have the wounds to prove it. Yeah, one Now I just believe, I always say to women, who would say, if you have not felt the pain, yeah, if, if you have not, not gone to that cross, that's it. If you've not been crucified for a thing or two, I'm speaking to you people saying to you, yeah. Papa, yeah. that's been crucified yeah. for who you are. Yeah. And then you take that crucifixion, crucifixion, crucifixion. and you yeah. turn it around that's and say, it. I'll show them. Yeah. So, na, na, yes. And so, mm. so for me, when I look at where I've been yeah. and I look at how many people have kind of tried and yeah. maybe some of them have succeeded in crucifying me, yeah. judging me uh, and, and judging my progress and saying, oh, shame, oh, shame that, you know, I just look at where I am now and I think I'm blessed coming in, coming out. Thank you. Nobody can touch me and yeah. they've never been able to touch me, Thank but I you. thought they could. Yeah, I that's think. the problem. Yeah, isn't I thought it? they could. I thought they could. And yeah. now I know, Ugote, in fact... If you come and criticize me, mm. I'm going to laugh about it mm. more than it being an emotional thing. You're going to and hide and, yeah. and say, can you not disturb me in my bedroom? I, I just, just need want to read. I just, <laughs> I just need a moment. I just need a moment. I can't believe they said that about me. Oh. I can't believe they wrote that about me. Yeah. You know, I remember getting off uh, an airline. I was in Durban for a charity event yeah. and they'd written some big headline. We would say, uh, uh, Sophie... Uh, woke up in Formula One with some person. And yeah. I thought, what is Formula One? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Surely everybody you know, knows that. I don't see this hotel. You know? know? Yeah. And, 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 and yeah. it was so emotional for yeah. me. You know, and I was hiding because yeah. I didn't want anybody to see me because I was so embarrassed. Yeah. Would say, why would anybody would say think that like and that. say that of me? And I actually realized, we would see, this is the cross. This yeah. is where people really crucify yeah. you. And this is where God just sees, Uguti, are you the true soldier of the kingdom? Are you ready to be an ambassador wow. of the kingdom? Are you ready to stand out there and talk to other women who've been through stuff and are not coping? Yeah. And you are able to say, let me tell you, this Let's is how restoration works. Let yeah. me tell you my testimony. Let me tell you. Mm. You cannot be a, a, a doctor. Yeah. Open them up and say, this is the heart. On, this yeah. is the kidney. Absolutely. The kidney, the lungs is like this and the yeah. kidney joins this to yeah. be that. Yeah. And, and this is what causes you know this. Really? And, that. and for me, I've been through that school. Yeah. And I'm not sure um, my graduation level yeah. of everything that I've been through. Yeah. Uh, but I believe what I am a graduate. No, absolutely. Safely well, I can, so. I'm I can the, tell I'm you sitting from here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you sitting from here. I'm, doctor, what I'm, I'm a doctor of absolutely. life, you know. I used to worry about the silliest things like cellulite. I used yeah. to worry about as a woman. And, I, and now, I'm like, it's there. Manje. Magnus Katsok, your swimmer. Tone I'll do it yeah. right now. It's but in there. the meantime, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, yeah, and, and, not, and be comfortable in yeah. my own skin and not worry. Yeah. Or what is the next person going to say, oh, she gained weight and she lost it. 
what are they gonna say let me hide i used to do all of that i used to do all that i used to hide yeah i used to worry and then now what, what are they gonna, gonna write mm. now i'm free that's amazing i know that i hear of course that your faith is such a critical part of you um where would you say your sense of self comes from If you say sense of self, I'm going to translate it the way I see it. Mm-hmm. My kids have, have seen my, their mother go through so much. Mm. And I don't think they've even seen me all their lives. Mm. But they've seen me. Okay. You know, when I look at other couples and how they run their families, yeah. I, I get so jealous. Yeah. If there's one thing I'd ask you to reverse, it would be for me to be a young girl all over again, not a different me, yeah, the same, same me. Yeah. Rewind to think me that young girl again mm-hmm. and maybe make different decisions. But I'd be too perfect and I would have never if you'd been all of this then the stuff that came out. I would after. have never experienced what you wanted me to experience mm-hmm. in order for me to be where I am and Amen. who I am. Amen. So it goes back to the same thing over yeah. there. Is up. So yeah. I now know who I am awesome. and I know where I am at and yeah. I'm happy and I'm comfortable with that and now it's my focus on business. Great. You know when you don't have uh, sustainability and you don't have comfort in understanding what there's a good day and there's a bad day, there's that a good is. business month and there's a bad that, business yeah. month, there are good seasons and there are bad seasons. Yeah. Yeah. And the minute I became comfortable with knowing what the climbing in is zero. Yeah. And everybody thinks me now everything. Yeah. And I'm comfortable with that. It's a good space. Yeah. So even now that I'm in business and it's a scary place. You know, um I was just saying to someone this morning, Guti, I wake up and I operate on risk every day. Yeah. Everything that I do, my businesses, it's risk all the way. And when I sit and think about it and I say, Okay God, since I was fired <laughs> from what television. Now? Yeah. How did I survive? Mm. You know, and how did I make and become even a better me Hope through operating at risk mm. and faith as a combo? Yeah, yeah, yeah you absolutely. know, and I'm still standing. Yeah. Well, it's exactly what you were saying earlier that you just have to look over your shoulder and look at how far he's brought you, and that would probably be an ongoing encouragement on a daily basis. You touched on your kids um, just now. What are the key, because you've got daughters, right? And what, son. Oh, you've got a son. Okay, cool. Well, this is perfect then. So let's start with your son then. What is the key thing you feel you want him to know, like, to the core of who he is as he grows up to, to getting into his own identity and functioning as a black man in South Africa and the world at large? You know, after his matric dance, she sent me a message because I've been busy traveling. And I said, I feel so bad that I'm never there, etc., etc. And he says, Mom, I'm grateful for you because you understand me. And more importantly, I understand you and I love you. Oh. And he's 18 and I thought, wow. And he said, I know I've got the most beautiful mom in the world. Oh. And the most caring and loving mom and the most supportive mom. And yeah. you understand me and you get me. That's and great. I think the most important thing is for your children to know that you get them yeah. and that they know that wherever you are, doesn't matter what you're doing, you're thinking of them and yeah. you feel bad every time you're not, you're not necessarily with them. Them, yeah. with them. And just understanding where he is now and how smart he is, I yeah. realized Uguti, he is a blessing and tomorrow I could be planning his wedding yeah. and having umakoti and having grandchildren <laughs> and I'm yeah. not ready to be a grandma, honey. <laughs> Do you think it'd be Look a good mother in law? <laughs> Look at you. Do you think it'd be a great mother in law? I think I would. Loving him as much as you do. Yeah, and I think I understand now why other mama like to choose uh, wives. wives for their kids. Yeah. Because you want a woman who's more like you. Yeah. I now understand why they say men tend to like to choose women they who are mom. more like their mothers or yeah. remind them of their mothers. Yeah. And not necessarily women, but about personality wise. And I realized that I also would want somebody who I can see myself. Okay. Who can see themselves through me and yeah. vice versa and we are able to get along. Okay. And even though Agasali Nami would have life with my son one day, but I would see that partner that's going to make my son feel at home every time he comes home. Okay, okay, I hear you. You know, yeah. and, and, and feel warm and feel like I don't, I, nothing else matters except this space. This space. Yeah. That's lovely. Man, 
<laughs> you you are a beautiful surprise. I think I've been gone for too long and and I'm just amazed and I'm in awe of how oh. incredible oh you are. Gosh, okay, so let me bad. listen now to like get my head because like my head and my heart are just buzzing um, with all these beautiful things you are saying. What about your daughters? You know, with all the struggle um, that women face generally in the world, whether it is work or whether it is identity and the, the sense of knowing self outside of a man and, and all of those things, what are the critical things in raising your daughters that you've thought if anything else, I need them to understand this. I think one of my biggest fears was my children, uh, my daughters, choosing the right partners. Okay. Because they were there. I didn't make mistakes. I think it was part of my journey. Yes. And my kids were exposed to all of that. Okay, I My hear daughters you. were exposed to all of that. And when you look at them, you want them to be a better version of you, yes. yet they were exposed to you. So you don't know how that could have affected them yeah. to, to be different kind of people than they could have been, whether you. it's positive or negative, and yeah. you hope for positively. Yeah. So the other day my daughter says to me, this one I like. <laughs> and I said, what's this one? Yeah. She says, no, this partner that you have now I yeah. like. And I said, why? And she says, because he's more like you. And I said, what do you mean what he's more like mean? you? And she says, he's giving, he's got hearing, okay. he's, he's family orientated, he's kind, he understands family values. She sounds very smart. Uh, yes. And she says, and I don't know, but for the first time in a long time, my spirit says yes. This sounds good. Even though I've always said no, irrespective, okay. in my own spirit. And okay. I thought, okay, girl. So you think you got right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do because They've if been you're not happy, yeah. we're not happy. If you're not happy, we're happy. So we see how happy you are. Wow. And I think, That's wow, awesome. you know, and that is why you protect, you know, your partner from media. You protect everything, and you can only do that for so long before, and yeah, before you are owned up. by the country yeah. and everybody forgets the good you are. Just you still human. have your own life. Yeah? Just human. You still have your own life. You know, so I'm very, I'm very excited with you about Ganabam are in that space yeah. where they are beginning to understand Uguti, it's not as easy as they thought because yeah. now they are at the level where they are choosing partners as well yeah. and, and they are making decisions, tough decisions where they have to let go and keep and, and let go again. and start again and keep it. Now they are in that ball game where they are like, yeah, can't see this, this is hard. tough out there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. they are beginning to see me from a different perspective Lovely. too. I'm also in that space where I see gorgeous men every day, and I'm like, yeah. oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, no, no like, God created. As an at high, No, sure God created. Time. Stop being in tongues. And then it just pops with, hey. Mm -hmm. Mana. Mana. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay. Okay, yeah. Know your role. Temptation. <laughs> yeah. Know <laughs> your role. So I'm in that space where I'm very happy, and I'm like, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay yeah. to be charmed by anybody, yeah. but... It's all about what you do with that charm. What has been your strategy in, in, with regards to finding that human and that partner for yourself? I'll tell you why I'm asking. So I've got a, a couple of friends who've gone through really nasty um, relationships yeah. that have ended up in divorce and just complex and one of the things that, of course, my husband and I, 10 years ago, so I haven't been in the dating space, one of the harder things is that the women, my friends, tell me that it's not very different to, like, where's this, where's this, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a different it's ball game yeah. altogether, yeah. And, and so they were saying that they fear one is being out there because certainly they still want to be with someone. They still believe it is in God's plan for yeah, them to yeah, find a yeah, partner. Yeah. But the the idea of what if I go out there and I get it wrong again? Yeah. Can I, am I willing? Now, when you've been through a heartbreak and then all the drama that comes with, you know, and each person has a different story. What For you, maybe the, the better question rather than a strategy to find someone, for you, what is it that made you be brave enough to say I'm willing to try it again? To try it again. When I went on my knees and I asked God, I said, God, give me that partner that understands me. Give me that partner that's the other me. Okay. 
somebody who's kind of like my twin. Yeah. When I say my twin, somebody who understands my dreams, somebody who's hardworking, somebody who's God fearing. Mm. And when I met this partner, I said, it can't be true. Okay. Oh, what's it? You, you can't are be all who of you are. Things. You can't do all yeah. of these things. Somewhere yeah. you're a fake. Yeah. It can't be possible. Yeah. And I'm still saying that now. Oh, I'm sorry, you know, you say I must have faith, but I can't. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it can't be true. It's too good if it true. doesn't. Yeah. We fight like any other couple. We yeah. talk about everything and yeah. we fight about everything and yeah. just could be signed for yeah. an hour or so and or then, a half a day yeah. and we restore everything. But yeah. what I'm saying is that I'm not talking perfection here. That's I'm it. talking over to even that restoration, in that how it turns around, yeah. the way in which it's restored, it's yeah. different. Yeah. Everything is just different. and. All I'm doing now, I'm going to not lie to you, yeah. is just praying about it. Pray. And saying, Golungul, if this is it, because I feel this is it. Yeah. I feel this is the end. Yeah. I feel this is the life. Yeah. My life this partner, is it. I feel. Yeah, this and is I it. said, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I'm sure. Yeah. Would say, it must I, be scary. I, it's extremely scary. Yeah. And all I have right now, my card, yeah. is my security card, yeah. is just my prayer. Amazing. I promise you, I've got nothing else. Yeah, there's no strategy. Everything is a tick. Is a tick. Wow. Is it even the wrongs are a tick? Yeah. Because, because I'm not looking yeah, for perfection. do you fight fair? Like, yeah. you, you know, if you and still you, love me. You know, the other day yeah. we were even talking about past. Yeah. And what to give me? What do you think about what people would think about my past? Yeah. What do you think what people would think about your past? And I said, I don't think. Yeah. In fact, I don't care. Yeah. Because it's, it's a non-issue. It's no longer existent. Yeah. We are here now. Yeah. I could have Absolutely. been a stripper. Yeah. And you say, I'm tender with all her imperfections and her stripper yeah. past. Yeah. And you're saying to your family, I want her to be my life. Yeah. My yeah. future. Yeah. Even though she was a stripper. That's so if, so Hadi, if you were a stripper, announce now. Yeah. And if anybody asks you, good, so how do you feel about having this man who was a stripper? I'll say, in fact, that's exactly that's why. why. <laughs> <laughs> Had he not stripped, in terms yeah, of the past, yeah. would have never because, made. Because he has yeah. now been through all the things that men fantasize yeah. about. Yeah, he's done and, it. And yeah. he's done it. And Manje, oh yeah, is the difference between the two. You know, there's, I think women must really focus on, even when you're looking for a partner, to really look for somebody who's been there, done that. Because when you are with someone who's never experienced anything, I worry and I'm not talking about experience anything bad. I'm just saying experience Gee. in general. Yeah. yeah. I worry Ugo, to the day that person wants to now explore. Yeah. Yeah. Because I got to ask them answers. Yeah. You can have answers in some when you're seasoned. Yeah. Right? But yeah, now. Nah. If I male or female, yeah, yeah, you know, absolutely. how do you then get to be in a place where you say, you're comfortable, you're secure, you're sharp. In fact, I know the difference in the value of this and the non-value of okay. this. So, yeah. I'm also in that space where I see gorgeous men every day and I'm like, yeah. oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, no, it's God created. As a at high, it's no, God created. Stop speaking in tongues. And then it just pops over to, hey. Mm-mm. Mana. Mana. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay. okay yeah. Slow your roll. Temptation. <laughs> yeah. Slow your roll. <laughs> so I'm in that space where I'm very happy and I'm like, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay to, to be charmed by anybody, yeah. but it, it, it's all about what you do with that charm. Absolutely. And I'm charmed and I'm taken. Absolutely. Not taken as in holistically taken. God yeah. is the only person who can really take me completely and own me. That's but right. I just believe I'm in that space where I'm comfortable. Fantastic. I'm happy for you. That's I'm brilliant. comfortable and... And I'm not sure where it's all going, and I'm comfortable because I'm comfortable. That's it. I'm comfortable because I'm very content with yourself, aren't you? Yeah. Like, I don't know how to say it in English. Yeah. I was saying to my partner, can we focus on building our empire now? This is just the beginning. I yeah. feel 18. Yeah. I feel like this is the beginning of my life. Wow. I feel like I want to start over. I feel like I want to start going on holiday, wow. even though I've done every holiday you yeah. can think of. Yeah. I feel like I want to start doing new things. And nice. once you feel like that, you know God has restored you. Mm. And you know it's that freedom. It's like yeah. a do-over. Ne? Yeah. And, and in, in fact, that's it's what like, restoration it's like, is. It's like when you do your nails yeah. and you're like, honey, I just put a new mm-hmm. color. Mm-hmm. I feel like my yeah, life has fresh, just got yeah, a new, new fresh color. color. That's amazing. Yeah. How would you explain your relationship with God and how has it changed over years moving from, I'm assuming, from a space of this is just a religious 
thing that I do, ticking boxes, to having a relationship with him. And what's that relationship like? He is the king of my life. Why? Because everything that I do really revolves around pleasing him, even though I make so many errors around it. <laughs> I think. Yeah. And I know. I don't yeah. think I know. Yeah. And just that relationship, the personal relationship of just, you know, having conversations yeah. with him whenever I want to and having that place that I can say I can be somewhere and nobody judges me. Yeah. That's the place that I'm in when I'm having with my him. private moments. That's beautiful. Is that moment where I can be myself because he's the creator of me. He knows all my flaws and imperfections and everything. So he's able to accept me just as I am. Wow. And I felt it excites me about having a personal relationship with Christ. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. The other thing that I really love about you is your commitment to girl child your commitment to giving back to community. What motivates you to, to wanting to give so much of yourself? What motivates me is really thinking about where I'm from, mm. the dreams that I had, the dreams that the girl child who's a teenager really has of becoming the best that she can be. Mm. I didn't really have everything that I needed, the tools to go to university, meaning the funding, etc., mm. etc. And you end up feeling stuck. Yeah. And I think this project that we're embarking on, which is a beauty pageant, Ekasi, nice. is having been involved in prestigious beauty pageants. Yeah. It's so exciting because it's like, yo, what would we do for Ekasi? Yeah. You know, what, how would we do it? Yeah. What is too little and what is too much? How exactly. did you find that? Yeah. And the only thing that we wanted to do was to just make it seamless clean, yeah. classy, aspirational, Lovely. and more importantly, it's a beauty pageant of the difference because it's not about, it's a beauty with a purpose, of course. I love it's that. not about who's sexier in a swimsuit. Yeah. It's more about uh, uh, who is the one that aspires most to be the best they can be through business, Fantastic. through being self-empowered, skills-driven. because I uh, skills, skills development, yeah. uh, saying what is your ultimate dream, you might be a nurse today, yeah. but really and truly, what going? is your aspiration, who, and how do you see yourself, yeah. so we, we have got a, a beautiful beauty pageant happening at Kasi on Villa Gaza Street, in, right in Soweto, nice. and it's at Eddie Chaba, and we love it because the venue takes up to about 4,000 people wow. and we are able to activate anything that we want in that Fantastic. space and really empower yeah. and changing the model of beauty pageants. That's because it. beauty pageants has always been about who's the most beautiful girl yeah. in the land. Yeah. And in this instance, yeah. it's about that curvaceous woman like yeah. ourselves yeah. entering and being comfortable. That girl is not really eloquent in English, but she knows how to express herself in her in Zulu or Sutu or Tswana and she says, thanks for giving me the yeah. I'm not doing some happy. But more than that, a very successful nice. businesswoman and, and really empowering other young women. Okay. Within this pageant, there's going to be workshops, business workshops, uh, uh, speakers that are going to inspire them. You're going to have government departments teaching them how to run and open their own businesses because those are challenges of, you know, when you start a business, you don't even know oh, with the certain rules and regulations you need to follow. You just do it because business. You know? but you don't really understand what oh, you need to take yourself seriously. Exactly. You need to brand, rebrand yourself, number one, and say, I am a businesswoman. I'm no more that girl that got chai, chai, I am now regrouping yes, and taking myself to another level. This wow. is my craft, this is my dream, yeah. and my dream is going to empower other girls like me Absolutely. to dream as well and to know that it is possible. Yeah. I mean, uh, we have a cash prize of about 40000 wow. for the winner. Absolutely. We have other prizes, so the prizes are probably up to 100000 for this Beautiful. winner. So we're very excited. Yeah, the yeah. highlight is the business. That's it. And that money has to be used towards To establish a business. business. Yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. To, to see how, and that's the, you know, to see how you can genuinely give back and, and it's a tangible yes. empowerment. It's yes. not just you heard a motivational yes. Yes. talk and then you felt excited. Yeah. There's actually, because I loved you were saying, there's, there's the skills and there's the workshops that, that actually help. It's tangible things that young girls. Yes. So, um, so, so really on the 22nd of December, we are going to be crowning the first Mr. Chava 2017. Wow. Uh, it's a Friday, I think, <laughs> and it's festive season, so yeah. every day is Christmas. Nice. So we're very excited about that, and we know you're going to be there, so Absolutely. we're very excited about Absolutely. that. And well, you can count on me. Yes. Thank you so much for being here. Like, it's meant so much for me for you to be so honest and so real, and I think that I can 
only imagine the number of women who will be impacted by <laughs> your story. Yeah, because I just don't think, you know, I really, I really think that we, we could have more honest conversations as women, um, more honest conversations as yeah. people, period. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. share our experiences yeah. and I genuinely appreciate how you've opened up. And yeah, yeah. I love, I, like the biggest thing I've learned from you, I feel, is the, is the fine contentment in self. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I loved that was like that made me like Oprah talks about aha moments for me that that was big and the whole idea of like, the journey yeah. with the collective the woman yeah. and the ability yeah. to have yeah. learned and realized all the things that you've gone through and what it is then that you yes. take moving forward that's yes. really really profound I really appreciate you thank you so much for time. having me it's been exciting I think sharing is amazing and out of the hundred women that could listen to my story my mm. life my journey. You know, we always hope as children of God to inspire one person. That's it. And once you've inspired one person, you kind of inspire a nation out of the hundred because how many people are in this world yeah. who that thing can just pass on yeah. of hope, a message of hope and yeah. faith and restoration. And I'm excited about that. Absolutely. Almost at least, hopefully, uh, I would have today yeah. uh, given someone else food for thought. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can't imagine anyone <laughs> not learning anything from this. It's just been a, such a pleasant surprise yeah. um, and a beautiful gift for me. So thank you so much for that. Sophie, our conversation was both enlightening and surprising. I'm not sure what I expected, but it certainly wasn't this. Ladies, it's never too late to carve out a path for yourself. Sophie is a perfect example of how even after life has seemingly defined who and what you will be, it's ultimately up to each of us to determine our own journey. That's all for today. Please have a blessed and God-filled week and I'll see you next week.